Um, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell has declared war on this effort uh, over the course of the last several weeks on the Senate floor. His office put out a, a lengthy memo last night that said, in part, Democrats will try to use, quote, fake hysteria uh, to break the Senate and silence millions of Americans' voices so they can take over elections. Um, the president's been a little sharper towards Republicans. You have a response to that memo and Leader McConnell? I, it is pretty ironic. If, if making it more difficult to vote is not silencing the voices of people, words that Senator McConnell used, I don't know what is. Uh, I also think it's important to note here, if you look back at uh, Leader McConnell's record from the past, he has a pretty strong record of supporting voting rights. Um, and what has changed? That's a question for him, less for us. But I will, I will give you a few examples. 2004, Leader McConnell. I cannot think of any reason why anyone on either side of the aisle would oppose the protection of the franchise of all Americans. 2006, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 represents one of this country's greatest steps forward. Obviously, I rise today in support of its reauthorization. Uh, again, 2006. Um, he wrote in his memoir that he was overwhelmed to witness such a moment in history when the Voting Rights Act passed in 1965. So I use those examples to remind people that this should not be a partisan issue, protecting people's fundamental voting rights, uh, that people uh, should be protecting them and standing up for Americans of all political stripes. That is what we are working to do. And what we're talking about here is uh, fighting against the big lie that was perpetuated after January 6th, uh, in uh, around January 6th, I should say, by many, far too many Republicans in Congress. Uh, and it has resulted in states across the country putting in place more uh, laws that are making it more difficult to people to exercise their rights.